I belong to the Generation Y. I can see where a lot of Generation Y people in this room. Sociologists believe that our generation is afraid to commit, or that we get involved in the shorter term. Our generation needs immediacy, our generation needs things right away. But speaking of involvement, will this short term be enough to change things? When I first got involved, I only thought about the short-term effects. And here I am today. It could lead me even further tomorrow, who knows. It all started when I was 15 years old. My grandfather, who had taken care of me, had grown old. He had mobility problems. He could no longer move alone, and yet he still wanted to travel. So I went on a trip to France with him. Following our stay, a nurse who accompanied the group wrote an article in the association's journal about the intergenerational help between the grandfather and his granddaughter, me. She put forward in the article the commitment that had been mine. While taking part into the trip, I didn't think about that commitment. I didn't think I was getting involved. It was only after, by reading the article, that I thought about, about that concept. Looking back, I think this was the first, this is where it all started. It all started because I was moved. I got involved and was recognized as actively involved. This was the starting point, but I wanted to go further. I wanted to go beyond my family reach. So I looked for opportunities, and by chance, I found a poster in a school corridor about the NGO Plan Belgium recruiting youngsters for their youth board. So I became active an active member of the Youth Board of Plan Belgium. We organized raising awareness discussions and activities. I then looked for other opportunities and I found new involvements. I got involved in the Red Cross, in the Scouts, and in an association who are aiming to deconstruct hate speeches and unfounded prejudices. And within all these actions, I met people who gave me hope. Coming to Louvain-la-Neuve, I also discovered a new way to get involved with the theme-based student housings. This unique concept was created by our university and consists in sharing an accommodation with a group of students to work on a specific project together. The project lasts for one year and can include social, cultural and humanitarian activities. For myself, I chose Le Levant, dealing with the cause of people with disabilities. I got involved because I was already touched and involved for that cause of people with disabilities. I'm part of the structured dialogue where a young group who wishes to gather the opinions of young people in Belgium on specific topics. Our priority during our consultation is to include people with disabilities. After, all the opinions are gathered at European conferences in order to include the opinions of young people in European political decisions. Following my involvement, I got other opportunities from friends who knew I was sensitive to society subjects. And this is how I discovered Academics for Development. I took over the presidency of Academics for Development in September 2016 with a team of 16 new members. 
this, uh, this student organization was officially implemented in Louvain-la-Neuve two years ago and promotes sustainable development and the sharing of knowledge between students of various disciplines, ex experts, professors and actors in the field in order to allow students to have a positive, social and lasting impact in this world. Academics for Development has taken a majority of my time this year, even more than my additional year of studies to become a teacher. But, can, but I can assure you that this time has been put to good use. Because when you fill the largest lecture hall of your university campus for a conference on a subject that matters to you, you do not waste your time. It's the opposite. You have a feeling of a job well done. I got involved in academics for development because I was moved and because I was outraged by what was happening today in our world. I'm using outrage because I read the book Time for Outrage by Stéphane Nessel. And this book gave me a real push forward to take a step further into involvement. I could also say that I believe. I believe in the change that my commitments can make thanks to my previous involvement. And I believe that in the change the time I spent can make thanks to the inspiring people I met. An experiment was done at the University of Cambridge where participants were exposed to a short video. Either they viewed a documentary on nature, a comedy or the biography of Mother Teresa. After, the participants were asked for help. Well, ex well the research shows that the participants who viewed the biography of Mother Teresa spent twice as much time helping. So hearing or witnessing pro-social acts activates the desire to become better or even to carry out pro-social acts ourselves. Today, I would like to be the pers person that encourages you to take that further step after being outraged and after believing. Like the people I met gave me the motivation I needed at that time. Today, in our society, we're constantly waiting for someone to bring change without ever thinking of changing the world ourselves. Who gives blood here? Well, it shows that seven out of ten people need a blood transfusion throughout their life, while only one out of ten gives blood. So I know it seems like a small gesture, but it's already a first step towards getting involved. 93% of our young generation in Belgium believes that there are injustices in our country. And unfortunately, we're not 93% of the young people to get involved. Our history will tell it to us, but we often forget that it always has been a group of engaged citizens that brought all the positive changes that surround us. A very concrete example is happening near you. Did you know that it's thanks to an active group of customers that the free disposable plastic bags are now forbidden in our stores? A petition started the movement, and it all started from there. And in a few years, this change will seem as obvious, and ultimately, we will consider as it never could have been otherwise. By getting involved, I wanted to be part of those citizens' groups that brought positive changes, and I believe that through my Academics for Development actions, we will one day be the trigger of impactful changes. AFD has brought me a lot. And of course, I spent a lot of time for that association. 
Of course, I met people throughout the way that didn't believe in the power of change we could have. And of course, sometimes I ask about my abilities to be part of such an ambitious group. But I quickly realized that the positive aspects of getting involved outweighed by far the negative ones. I was motivated because I learned more and more. I acquired some new skills and new responsibilities, and I felt useful. One of the benefits of getting involved is that you get to meet a lot of new people. And during my moments of discouragement, I always cross the path of someone who believes strongly in the possibility of change. I was part of an optimistic group, and today I stand proud to be involved. I'm also here optimistic because in the field of involvement, our society is evolving in the right way. Today, politicians increasingly recognize the power of citizen commitments. In France, they have, they have established a system to officially recognize it. It's the idea of citizen path. It's like your vaccination tracking book. It's the same, but for involvement. By getting involved, I got to meet people. I got to discover a real movement to go forward. I took a step further, and I had some small achievement thanks to big efforts, even if there were some failures and some never answered applications. I, was, got, I got more and more responsibilities, and all of this brought me an incredible motivation that got me to commit on the long term. So more importantly, one of the benefits of getting involved is that, is that you get to think, to think in the long term. Long term, because the world we're living in will not be perfect tomorrow. And I will maybe never see the world I'm seeking, but I'm getting involved because I believe. I believe that change is possible, and I know that everything takes time. So the small changes I make in the world today will maybe be the normality in the world of tomorrow, and I may or may not see them. But I trust that it's going to happen, and this is the big adventure of getting involved. Thank you.